Hello friends, welcome to Nigira Techies. This is our React JS Redux tutorial part 5. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to create and use multiple reducers in React JS application. And this is the continuation of my last video. So I recommend to watch the previous one, then you will get some better understanding. So the video link available in this description. Now let me go to the implementation. So this is my created application and application in running mode. So let me explain the concept, okay? So the concept is very simple. Uh, it is kind of online purchase. So here I'm showing the number of available products. It is the state information and the action is make order. And I'm having only one reducer that actually handling our request. So in order to, it is updating the state information, okay? So now what I'm going to do, instead of having this single product, I'm going to have two products, okay? So in the real time scenario, so in the shop, we have different products. The different products handled by the different shopkeepers. So in the technical term, we have the two state information. It is handled by different reducers, okay? That concept only we are going to implement. The same thing we can achieve using the single reducer also. So first what I'm going to do, let me implement the concept using the single reducer. So after that, the same thing I can achieve using different reducers, okay? Now let me go to my application. Instead of this available product quantity, I'm going to change this into available cricket bat. And let me copy everything. I'm going to create one more section. So that is for the cricket pad. So available cricket pad. So currently I'm having two different products, okay? Let me save this one. And next, let me go to our action type. So here already I'm having this make order. Instead of that, I'm going to include two more action types. So the first one is for the bat. And the same way, I'm going to create one more action type. So this is for pad. Okay, this is fine. And now let me go to my action. So initially, I just added one hard code value. So here the scenario is we have two different products. Okay, so let me make it as the dynamic manner product type so it is the parameter okay so now this constant value is not required so I have commanded so in the UI we can see the two different section okay the values are wrong anyway I'm going to change okay now let me go to the reducer section so here our object is number of products okay so instead of that I'm going to change this into number of bats 100 and i'm going to create one more okay and in our reducer currently i'm checking the condition is i mean this case statement i'm checking make order instead of that i'm going to check by bat okay if it is the bat then we have to use this value number of bats I'm going to reduce the count of one, okay? And the similar way, I'm going to include one more case statement. So this is for pad, okay? And our object variable is number of pads. Okay, we have completed our reducer. So let me save this one. And next, let me move on over product container so in this product container the first one is for bat okay so instead of this number of products I'm changing this into number of bats and the similar way the second one is pads so this is fine and in our function so first we can change in our map state to props. So instead of this number of products, I'm changing into number of pads. 
and also number of bats and the next one is a map dispatch to props it is the function so in this function currently we have one parameter also product type so I'm just passing here so in this binding area using this props option uh, we have binded the available bats and also pads so in this function we have to pass the action type okay so the first one is for bat so the action type is by bat okay here I did one mistake so in this react JS if you are passing any parameters uh, we have to change like this okay otherwise it will be executed in the page loading time itself okay this is fine so let me copy the same thing so instead of the by bat I have to include by pad that's it so I saved this one bat is showing but the pad is not showing okay so the reason is so in this reducer section I have added number of bats and these pads having on spelling mistake okay just updated and the count I'm going to give 50 then only we know the difference right see so the initial value is 100 and the pad initial value is 50 so if I'm clicking this make order it is just updated only the pad still the bat is remaining so if I'm clicking here see the bad value is varying okay so this is the way of handling different states using the single reducers now what I'm going to do instead of having this single reducer I'm going to create the separate reducer okay so let me go to our reducer section first I'm going to create two objects initial bad state okay So bat is 100 at the same way I am going to create one more object so this is for pad so we have two initial objects next I am going to create the reducer so we can copy this one I'm going to comment this one okay we can include the export here itself so in this real-time scenario we may create the separate file for the reduces so for the time consumption I am using this same file only so the name is bat reducer okay and here I can have the first case statement okay this is fine and the similar way I'm going to create one more reducer so this is for pad so here we can have the second case statement okay so let me save this one so here I'm getting some error that is fine so let me go to our store.js file okay initially I have included this product reducer so unfortunately now I have removed that's what I am getting this error so now we can have this bat reducer and also this pad reducer okay so now if I am including this one so the initial value is fine so if I'm clicking this one the bad reducer will work I mean this bad scenario is working fine but see this pad nothing is changed at the same time if I'm using this pad reducer here automatically this value will be changed 
at the same time our batch value still remains okay so for handling this situation we can use the combine reducer because in our configure store will accept only one reducer okay so let me declare one more constant variable that is the root reducer and then we can use this combine reducer option it will be available in this redux js slash tools so it is expecting the object as input so the first one is bat reducer right so i am going to create the key bat and the value is bat reducer at the same time we can include this pad also okay okay this is fine so currently i am passing this root reducer to our configure store okay so let me save this one so if i'm checking here nothing will be showing so the reason is so in our product container so we are getting the values like this state dot number of bats and states dot number of pads so currently uh, we are getting the values like this state dot number of bats and state dot number of pads so now our state has been modified okay so we have the two different states one is the bat and another one is the pad so we have to include like this then only it will work bat another one is the pad so let me save this one see now we have this value so if I'm clicking so the bad value is changed At the same time if I'm clicking this one our pad value is updated so let me provide the code overview okay this is our reducer file here I'm having two states okay so one is for available bats and another one is the available pads so I have created the initial object then I have created the separate reducer for both bat and pad so next in our action creator file so I just changed this function into dynamic manner so whatever value we are passing that only I am just retaining finally in our store so we have the two reducers so using this combined reducer option I have combined into a single reducer so the data will be available in this object format so finally we are including in our configure store section so at the end in our common side so we are getting the values so instead of directly state dot particular value so I am taking from the objects okay so now we are in the end of the video still if you have any doubts or clarification please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching